In this video, I'll walk you through 11X, an app that's built to replace salespeople, showcasing the most important features and explaining how an AI SDR can help you elevate your business. So let's begin. So 11X has a couple of different agents. I believe they'll be releasing more. But today we'll talk about Alice. Alice is designed to replace or enhance your SDRs, basically helping you scale your outbound without really scaling the team. Alice automates majority of the sales processes. It will go out and find out your ideal customers, reach out to them across multiple channels like email and LinkedIn, and each message will be uniquely crafted by Alice, hyper personalized to each recipient, generating meetings and and filling up your pipeline on autopilot. In the home tab, you'll get an overview of Alice. You'll see how many leads she scraped, how many are active in a campaign, meaning how many leads are still being reached out to, either in queue for initial emails or just regular follow-ups. You also see opens, clicks, and of course the reply rate. You can also see hot leads. Those are basically leads that are engaged with your emails or LinkedIn. Every time your lead opens your email, connects with you, or interacts in any other way, their status warms up from cold all the way to hot, notifying you of their status so you could act quickly. After that, you have a campaign tab. You can create four types of campaigns. First, the classic one is relatively simple. You create your ICP, the leads are all sourced for you. You then create multi-step campaign and launch it. Second, you have the CRM type. If you choose this type, Alice will take and enrich leads from your CRM like HubSpot or other. Alice will personalize each message based on the lead and reach out to them. Third, you have website traffic. If you choose this campaign type, Alice will look at all of your website visitors and if it can identify them, it will personalize the messages and outreach to them. Due to privacy laws, it can only identify US citizens. Lastly, the CSV is as simple as it gets. You upload a CSV with your lead data and Alice will reach out to them by herself. Once you select the campaign, you'll be able to select your ICP. There are a couple of filters, important ones like job title, department, management level, company location, employee count, industry, and keywords. With these filters, you'll let Alice know who exactly you want to target. And on the right, you should see a sample data of the leads that Alice has managed to find, and a number of how many of them she has access to in total. After that's done, you'll be able to set up the offer. For this, you need to feed Alice information to teach her about your product. You add your product's name, your website URL. Then Alice will scrape your website data to learn more about your product. You should then add specific pain points your product solves, value propositions, basically why should your lead buy your product, and then proof points. This is proof that your product works. You usually show proof by sharing a case study. You're allowed to put in multiple variations. This way, Alice can A-B test different pain points or proof points, pick the one that performs the best and double down on it. You can also adjust the tonality to better fit your brand's voice. Select your outreach language, different call to actions and add a meeting link. Once you set up your product information, you'll be able to edit sequence itself. You can add as many email steps as you'd like. The default is one initial email followed by three email follow-ups. Everything is of course crafted by Alice. You can also add LinkedIn connection request steps or in-mail messages. Now the email copy itself, this is where it gets interesting. Alice will personalize each email from the icebreaker to the CTA. Alice will never write two identical emails. Each one is created for one recipient only using data script about that recipient. Not only that, you can also teach or command Alice to write emails in a specific way. Let me explain. Because Alice scrapes a ton of information about your leads, you can tell Alice to focus on your leads goals, for example, their company, their name, name, location, interest, or anything else that Alice has scraped information about. And if you instruct her to do anything like that, Alice will write emails around your commands for all of your leads in this campaign. The last step for the campaign are the settings. You can let Alice work on autopilot, meaning that she will send each email by herself, or you can turn the autopilot off and review each message before Alice sends them. You of course can adjust the daily quota and add emails accounts to use for outreach. 
If you choose to review the each email before sending, you can do so by going to the worker output tab. Here you'll see all the leads Alice has scraped and all of their information. You have an option to filter those leads by campaign, status, or when they were scraped. If you choose to review each email before sending, you can do so by clicking review. Then you'll see what Alice has written. You can change it up, send it now, or smart schedule to put it into the queue. Performance tab is pretty straightforward. Here you can see all of your analytics, number of script leads, active leads in your campaign, your open and response rate. You have an option to filter it by different campaigns, change the date, and export the data as CSV. Below you get a simplified overview of all of your campaigns, helping you monitor everything with a simple interface. When you get a reply, Alice will stop reaching out to that particular lead. Now it's your time to take over and talk to the recipient. For that, you have centralized inbox where you can see all of your replies. Replies in a certain mailbox that you connected or replies within a campaign that you choose. When you select the replies, you'll be able to see what Alice has sent and what their lead has replied. The payment plan depends on lead quantity, but you can expect to pay a bit more than a dollar per processed contact. Now AI SDRs are great, but for sustainable growth, you need to diversify. To do that, I suggest taking a look at how to set up your cold email systems from zero to start sending thousands of personalized emails a month for less than a hundred bucks.